Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope y'all are doing well. Um, yeah, I decided not to do um, my exercise or walk this morning. I don't know. I'm just not feeling all too great. Um, my sugar's fine. Um, I don't know. I, I guess uh, when I woke up the early this morning to uh, give the one of the cats ha has to be on medication right now, uh, 12 hours apart. So, um, yeah, when I woke up this morning to give him his um, medication, I probably should have eaten something, but I was just like, oh, I'm not hungry, this and that and everything, and I don't know, I'm just feeling a little funky because of it. Then again, who knows, maybe it's because of the full moon yesterday. I don't know about you all, but wow, yeah, my actually my north node is in Sagittarius, and we had a full moon in Sag, so um, yeah, I, I, it really threw me for a loop. It was like everything that happened over the last month really just kind of hit me all at once, and it was just like I was crying, I was angry, I was in disbelief, I was, oh, you name it, I, I went through a whole myriad of emotions yesterday, and I tried keeping myself a little bit busy or what have you, but still, I was just like, ah, and, and oh my gosh, I, 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 I was depressed, and everything else, it was like, wow, yeah, it, it, everything just kind of hit me yesterday. So, yeah, um, but yeah, I, I did, I was able to, I kept myself a little bit busy with um, cleaning my room and, and uh, tried to do laundry. Well, that wound up being a bust also because the washer broke. <laughs> and I was crying because the washer broke. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was just like, oh, wow. Yeah, uh, that's what I mean. I was just a mess yesterday. So if you went through the same thing, you're not alone. <laughs> Because I was just a total train wreck yesterday. It was awful. And I was doing my best to try and go with the flow and so forth. But forget it. It was just, it, everything was just, yeah, came flooding out of me. It was just, it was just crazy. So, but uh, on the plus side, uh, actually a couple plus sides. Uh, one, um, I made great progress with the emergency cards. So the, they're pretty much ready. There's one thing I, I realized that I wanted to change with the form fields. Um, I wanted to go back and see about making those changes. Um, but other, otherwise, yeah, everything is uh, pretty much set ready to go with throwing them up on the website. So, um, um, Fingers crossed I'll be able to get that done today. Um, with me not doing my morning ritual and so forth, I'll probably be able to knock those out. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then, um, oh, the other thing that um, happened yesterday is the last of my lab results came in. So definitely, uh, from what I can see from the numbers, definitely uh, type 1 diabetic. Uh, no, I don't really see where there's any underlying issues that are causing it. Um, all my other numbers, for the most part, were normal. Um, you know, my, like my thyroid and, and, and so on and so forth. Um, all normal. The only things that are uh, um, a little off with my urinalysis was um, the abnormal amounts of bacteria and the epithelial uh, uh, some epithelial, uh, yeah, that word, cells, uh, were spotted in, in, um, in my results. So, not too sure what's going on there, uh, because I was treated for a UTI when I was in the hospital, so I'll have to see, they might wind up sending me to a urologist or something, um, see what, see what they have to say and everything, uh, of course, and I see both the doctors, my primary care physician, and the endocrinologist next month. So we'll see what they have to say. Um, but from what I can tell, not, absolutely nothing. Um, it, uh, no underlying cause, just probably uh, genetics catching up with me, you know, and finally saying, okay, enough's enough. So here I sit, <laughs> type 1 diabetic. It's like, okay. So, um, 
yeah, that was um, um, very telling. And I, and unfortunately, as far as the menopause is concerned, I can't tell by the numbers, you know, with the ranges and everything, if I'm actually in menopause or not. I still haven't started my period. So I, I'm not entirely too sure on that. No, I'm not wearing my rings right now. I got to take care of Miss Possum and so forth. But I figure I would jump up here and uh, take um, do a quick video and so forth. I'll, I'll, I will see about doing a... Um, a tarot reading this afternoon um it might be a short one i'm not too sure i kind of get keep getting pulled to this one deck which means that it'd be a short reading so um i'll i'll, I'll keep putting my feelers out there and seeing what uh, spirit is is guiding me to but it, i keep kind of being guided to this one deck so it looks like it might be a short reading today so anywho um yeah that's that's pretty much it yeah we've had beautiful weather all weekend um, and, uh, yeah, upper nineties. So, uh, I think we're supposed to be scaling back again to the low nineties or something like that uh, throughout the week. I'm not entirely too sure. Um, I know we are in, of course, in June now, so things are going to be slowing down. So actually this time of year, even though it's warm, this is actually a really good time of year to come to Vegas because rates are a lot cheaper. Okay. Just, you had, you're going to be dealing with a lot of heat. <laughs> <laughs> just not too many people come into town uh during the summer months because of uh, the heat you know drives a lot of people away except for the weekends the weekends party animals so if you want to come into town avoid the weekends sunday through thursday it's really good time to come it's nice and it's pretty quiet and everything and um not a whole lot going on and so forth uh, even conventions slow down, especially in the month of June because of, you know, high school graduations and so forth. So, but, uh, yeah, uh, otherwise, you know, uh, I know our readings here, you know, our spiritual readings have been pretty intense here, here lately. So now that we're finally getting through the full moon, I know we're still, um, in, uh, the wake of, of a full moon, you know, cause basically when it comes to full and new moons, you have about like a 72 hour window you know it's like you had the 24 hours before and the full moon so it's 24 hours after something like that you know 48 24 48 hours before 24 48 hours after um the actual moon phase happens where you can take advantage of that energy um same can wind up happening where you know because the energy is still around and everything can still wind up feeling emotional or chaotic or what have you so you know with the readings that we've been having you know with keeping balance and so we're still being a generous a spirit and so on and so forth fits right in and it, this is it, it, this is really been an intense full moon so yeah it's understandable um especially since i uh, i did find out we are going to be uh entering into a sad or currently in a pluto retrograde um i don't remember the exact dates i, I got them on my calendar but I, it's somewhere in the middle of the month i think it's the 17th or something like that don't quote me on it saturn is going into retrograde okay and then around uh, the 30th uh, depending on your time zone i think in this time zone it's actually not until um uh, uh the next day july 1st um we are um going into a neptune retrograde so we're going to be dealing with those for a little bit okay along with the pluto retrograde so and then of course we're in the full moon right now and around time that we're going saturn retrograde we're going to be having our new moon and, and uh, i don't remember if it's going to be hitting um gemini or cancer i'd have to look at the dates um so anyway um yeah, it's it's going to be a little bit of an intense time too right now too, because uh, we're going to be in those pre shadows with those going on as well. So yeah, don't be, don't be the least bit. I, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if I hear from a lot of people. Yeah, the, today's full moon or this full moon this time. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and I was hearing it from some, um, from uh, at least a couple of friends who are like, "Are we sure we're not in a Mercury retrograde right now?" That's what I was kind of hearing yesterday from people. It's like, no, it's just full moon. So yeah, a lot a lot of craziness. So yeah, but uh, anyway. Um, I know a little bit of yammering going on. Um, so yeah, just keep your balance best you, that you can and still be do, um, generous of spirit coming from here. Okay, not from up here, 
but from here, not your ego, and so on and so forth. So hopefully today's tarot message will be better, okay? So like, subscribe, hit those notification buttons. Please share these videos and go to the website, novemberstudio.com. Okay, love you.